Hey guys, so I wanted to do a fun Halloween shop with me today, but I thought I would kind of start it off a little differently and take you through my morning routine as we get ready to head out. So quickly turning my shower on. I love this new shower. I feel like it's so bright and just very new and clean. I just love it. And then I'm going to go ahead and shampoo today. I am washing my hair, so I'm going to use the Amica Normcore shampoo. I'm going to do this twice just because it's been a few days and I feel like my hair has kind of been through the ringer so I definitely wanted to do a double cleanse with this one but this is great for just normal hair next for conditioner I like this extreme lengths treatment you can actually use this on scalp and ends it's from Redken and I've been using this so much as you could probably tell the bottle is almost gone I just comb this through and I do let this sit uh, while I cleanse and do all the extra things so right now I'm using my La Roche-Posay cleanser I am going to do a body scrub today because I do have to sell tan tonight so i'm gonna use my tree hut pumpkin spice latte scrub perfect for the fall time i like to do this sometimes once a week maybe a couple times but usually always before i tan just to exfoliate the body and then we're also going in with the pumpkin pecan waffles body wash from bath and body works to go with the scent and then i can go ahead and rinse my conditioner out i just like to let that sit in for a bit longer moving downstairs here i'm going to go ahead and do my hair care since it is still wet i'm using the wow dream coat spray this is really nice as a leave-in conditioner it helps with frizz and then i'm using the olaplex this is a volumizing mist i just spray this at the roots to get some volume because my hair is kind of flat so just brushing that through for styling all i'm doing today is blow drying so today's video is actually sponsored by zuvi and i've been trying out their blow dryer for about a month now and i've really loved the results i have highlighted blonde hair so that can be very damaging to it so i try to use the best tools and products to keep my hair strong long and healthy my hair is also very fine in texture so it can get frizzy easily with other blow dryers so what's cool about the zuvi halo is it actually uses safe infrared light and high-speed air to dry your hair instead of intense heat like most dryers so you actually won't get any heat damage from this which is so important for me since I am trying to keep my hair long and strong it does have a few different settings I use the fast setting just to get my hair overall dry and then once it's 75% dry I'll put it on the style setting where I'm just gonna kind of blow dry mine straight I have a little bit of wave to my my hair but this is such a good job at smoothing everything out if you guys want to check out zuvi i'll have the link down below as well as the coupon code i think this has really helped in strengthening my hair overall and i've noticed i feel like it's grown quite a bit more in the last month all right guys we're in the car we're on the go i want to check out some halloween decor i am at target right now hello target i don't know if you guys could see but um I'm going to go to a couple different ones because I haven't seen their full Halloween collection yet. And depending on how much footage I have, I may also check out Walmart in the same video. Maybe not. We'll see. But Target also has a line of Starbucks cups for Halloween. And there was a slime one that I've been wanting to get. I've been at Disney all week, so I wasn't able to pick it up. None of the Starbucks there had them. It might be a Target exclusive, so I want to see if they have some left. So that's why I might check out a few stores today. Our hair is looking so smooth. I can't believe all I did was blow dry it today and that is it <laughs> but yeah let's head inside target and see what we can find this first store is a little bit smaller so i don't expect them to have a lot but yeah we'll see we'll see what they have So sad they didn't have the slime cup, but I did show you guys the ones that they did have available, but we'll definitely check a different store. But let's see what they have in the little dollar spot section. Okay, so these are so cute. It's like a little gumball candy machine in shape of a pumpkin. How adorable is that for $5? You could totally store like makeup sponges in here. I think that would be so fun or just put some candy inside. The top will come off, but that's so cute for only five bucks. We have this little ghost storage tray as well, not a tray, but a glass container in this haunted house one. 
Here's some new signs to enter if you dare. And they also have this beware one. Have these cute dishes, the small little plates. This is the ghost, so cute. It comes with, I think, two for three dollars. And they have the pumpkin. There's a coffin as well with RIP. And then we did see a bunch of Halloween mugs in my last Target video, but these are so cute. We got a magic potion little cauldron mug for three dollars, and this cute jack o' lantern. I love those. These are some little candles that are in these like pen metal pails. They look like little paint buckets. This is Witch's Brew for $3. We got candy corn. That smells really good. There's one pumpkin pie left as well. Look at these. They're like these skull wine cups for $3. And they have these as well with the little skeleton hands. Some cute little koozies. We have Your Future, it looks magical. And then Scary Movies and Chill. And then these little cups as well. There's Momster and Trick or Treat. Get me a drink. There's some cute little figurines over here. And sorry for how many times I say cute because it's my go-to. <laughs> but there's a little Halloween gnome. This ghost, which I think these do light up. They have a little switch on them. So it's like a trick-or-treating ghost. The black witch cat. Those are so fun. They're five dollars each. We have these little guys as well. These lanterns. You could put like a little tea light candle in. I love the one with the bats. And then they have these like neon light figurines too that you could hang up which these are only $5 as well. They have the ghost, and there's a bat one too. I went over most of this collection in my last video by the Hearth and Hand stuff. I was trying to see if they added anything else, but I think I pretty much covered most of these items. Did I see this last time? It's like skull. It looks like a planter kind of thing, like you could put some different flowers in there but I think this is all stuff I've seen maybe this little pillow is new and I don't know if I saw this spider pillow that's really pretty here's the first aisle I won't go over the candy because we kind of did that last time but this is a bunch of like different pumpkin things you can decorate some Halloween buckets and stuff there's some cute stuff here like this little Halloween wreath I love that that one's 20 this light up neon pumpkin light is pretty cute but I don't know nothing too exciting in this row besides like the fun wreaths this one is really cute too with the skulls it's all black and then they have this little kitchen towel set with the spider there's also this giant Ouija board like serving tray it's huge this is 20 they have a couple cute pink things which I'm excited about this year. This reminds me of Disney so I kind of want it. It's sick boo to you. Oh I need this one. That was just adorable for ten dollars. This cute little jack-o-lantern. I love the girly things. These pink little fabric bats. This little garland and then they do have a fun like pastel Halloween wreath. These little signs here rest your bones and then R.I.P. These pastel skulls are really fun for $10. And then the pumpkins, just like fillers for vases and stuff. And then they have these down here, so cute. This is $10, it says Happy Haunting, I love that one. And a pink boo one too. And then this is just a cute little floral display for 20. There's some fun stuff in this section as well. This is kind of the classic Halloween colors. Okay, this might be my favorite wreath yet. I love all the pumpkins like put together. This is 20, so cute. I feel like this is something you probably can make though for really cheap. Little trick or treat pumpkins, a happy Halloween sign. Look at this huge like stoplight thing. Oh my goodness couple more things down it this way uh, there's nothing I'm really over the moon about I do like this section here I'm liking the pink stuff the best so far this is cute Halloween haunt and then I like this a lot it reminds me of Haunted Mansion oh that's fun that they move I like that that's $35 though <laughs> but very cool piece cute little serving tray too that you could like display stuff on 
It looks like a little haunted house. Ooh, greetings ghouls. I love that. Ooh, look at all the neon. This is fun. Wow, so bright. There's that pumpkin wreath again with the neon colors, neon pumpkin fillers, tricks and treats. On to later. <laughs> I like that one. I would get that. That's five dollars. The skull. That's cool. I wonder if they have a pink one. Cause so I love the neon colors. There's a boo light up sign. Ooh, how fun! I love that this year. That is so cute. I think that's mostly it for this store. And I kind of want to check out a couple more before I decide to buy anything. Wow, that thing is humongous. We're at the next Target, which is a little bigger, and I do notice some new things already. These cute potion bottles. This is the Hissing Hexes with the black cat on top. I think these light up because they do have a little switch on them. These are $5. We have the Tincture of Toad. I've never heard that word before. And then the Fine Spat Cave Aged. Those are fun. I did find the slime cup finally, and it does go in the dark, which is so cool. I love this one. I just love the color so much. All right, we're back in the Halloween section. So I'll just do a little overview. Most of the stuff we did see, there's a couple of new things. Like I didn't see this mirror thing, but I thought I would just walk a little slowly so you guys can take a look and see if there's anything you like. Oh, this one does have some more signs, like this big witching hour. I also like that Halloween one with the bats. The pink stuff is definitely selling out fast. This one is so cute. With a little crochet ghost. Hmm, I wonder if they did sell out of all the pink stuff. But look at this. They do have a neon pink skull. I might pick that up. Maybe I'll have to go back to the other store for the cute boot to you. I didn't get to show you guys this last time. But Native has a new fall collection out. The fall escape. It's like desert themed. It's a southwest desert with Native's fall collection. So there's nothing that's like super gourmand or anything but there is I think four new scents and deodorant body wash hair stuff as well as you guys know I love their body washes so they have the sage and sweet citrus for $8.99 this one is just I don't know if you like sage it's very fresh it smells like that Bath and Body Works white tea and sage they have honey saguaro which I think is mostly probably the sweetest one of the collection because it does have a sweet honey scent to it Desert grass and sandalwood. That one's kind of boring to me. And then the vanilla and cactus flower. A little more floral than I thought it would be, but I think my favorite is the sage and sweet citrus. I don't know. I know a lot of you guys aren't really that pumped about this collection. I feel like their like foodie type scents go a little bit more viral, but it seems like they have quite a bit left. So that's kind of the main Target Halloween decor section. I wanted to go over, all I bought was the Starbucks cup, my slime one, it glows in the dark. I'm excited about this one. Yay! <laughs> Apparently I posted this on my stories and a lot of you guys said it's sold out like almost everywhere and sold out that day. But I don't know, the nice thing about living in Iowa is people do not get that excited for these things. They just like, things do not sell out very much here. And there is a bunch of Targets in the Des Moines area, which is where I shop at. So I can usually find some stuff even if it is sold out in most places, but hopefully they do a restock because this is so fun. So that's all I bought, but let's go check out Walmart and see what they have for Halloween because I'm really curious. I did hear about a possible Scooby-Doo Wet n Wild collection, so maybe we can find it. Let's go. So I think Walmart has the same idea as Target with the neon collection here. I honestly think Walmart stuff is cuter and I thought this last year too. I don't know what it is, but they have a lot more affordable things and just I love the pastels and the neon this year. It's my favorite. We have like a little Halloween countdown. This candy corn is very cute. It looks like a lot of people are buying this one. There's only a couple left and one's like all scuffed up. But I love the colors. That's adorable. All of the fun signs. Boo y'all. Trick or treat. I love this hocus pocus sign because it's like holographic. And then we got a pastel pumpkin wreath. This little ghost trinket plate is adorable. The trick-or-treat, frequent flyers, only only one left of this one. I'm obsessed with the pastel pink boo. I might grab that. And then this pretty large like ceramic cauldron as well. So that's all the pastel things. We got the neon collection with this huge eek sign. This one must light up because 
it is ginormous. Let's see if it'll do anything. This one you can kind of see a little bit, but it'll look so cool in the dark, I feel like. This reminds me of the little um, ghosts on Pac-Man. That's so cute. And then they have the skull. These signs, out of candy, and then Hocus Pocus, and a boo one, and then lots of glitter skulls. Very cute. And then they have like the Day of the Dead collection as well here. They have such fun stuff here at Walmart. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna get that boo sign. We'll see. I'm seeing what else they have over here. Here's the more spooky side. That's missing a letter. It says, you are something magic. The witch's hat, happy Halloween. I don't know if they're still getting some stuff in or what, but yeah, I don't know. I thought the pastel stuff was really fun. They do have like their fall things too here, which I don't know. I decorate more for Halloween than I do fall, which is kind of interesting. I just, I don't know. I don't really like the fall decor all that much. It's mostly just like pumpkins <laughs> is pretty much what it is. But here's a little overview. Here's where they have the fun mugs. Last year I got the cutest pink pumpkin one here. They don't have it again this year it looks like. Maybe it's still coming. But we got the little mummy guy for $4.44. A black skull. And then a jack-o'-lantern. So I don't know. Last year's were definitely cuter. They do have these cold cups as well. With the little ghosts and pumpkins. Walmart actually has its own Starbucks dupe because Starbucks had this very similar cup in their Halloween collection. Walmart has one too in the same color theme. Way cheaper, $6.94 compared to Starbucks is like $24, so big difference. Uh, the studs are a little chunkier on these though, but I still think, you know, I would get this instead of that personally. I found some fun doormats too. We got a Put a Spell on You and Welcome Witches. Oh, cute! Look at this little wax warmer. It's a cauldron. I love it. They also have the sugar skulls and these like book of spells. But oh my gosh, the cauldron is so fun. Some candles in here too. You can't really see them that well, but this must be the mainstay's fall collection. We got apple pumpkin. I went over the Target ones already, but. Pumpkin spice, warm apple pie, warm fall leaves, kind of just your typical fall scents. Nothing super unique here, I don't think. Look at these cute pumpkin pills. I know Target had some similar ones, but these are only $11.94 here at Walmart. Got the orange pumpkin and the white pumpkin. Those are just so cute to throw on your couch for a little extra decor. I found a few more Walmart decor pieces, including this adorable ghost mug. This is only $3. It has a little bit of like a holographic duochrome to it. So pretty. And they have like matching plates for about $7. And this cute matching jar as well, which is also $7. This little head comes off. This pumpkin jar is adorable too. All right, Body Call G has a couple of new scents that are actually kind of Christmas scents. They're already here. We have Winter Vanilla, which is supposed to be a Midnight Blueberry Vanilla. That sounds actually very good. Body Call G usually has pretty good, I would say, dupes for Bath and Body Works a lot of the times. Like, let's say you really want um, Bonfire Bash back. This is a great dupe, Cozy Fireside S'more. Literally the same scent. I do think Bath & Byers is a little better, but these are $3.97. Now, I did not see that they have candles now. That's something totally new. That smells so good. So if you've wanted Bonfire Bash and a candle, check this out. They have little candles here. Back to Winter Vanilla. This is nice because we can kind of smell the scent from the candle. It doesn't really smell familiar, but it smells very good. It's not as blueberry as I was thinking, but it does smell like a, kind of a warmer vanilla. So they have the cream, spray, candle, and there's also a matching scrub in that one. And then the other new scent they have is Feelin' Flannel, which is fresh berries and cozy musk. Okay, I think this is a dupe for Bath & Body Works sweater weather, is what I'm gathering. I could be wrong, but that's what it smells like to me. Uh, again, body cream. This one has the body wash, candle, 
and scrub. I smelled the Bodycology vanilla again and now it's giving warm vanilla sugar. <laughs> Maybe better because I know the Bath & Body Works one is super light. So I don't know. I'm tempted to try that because I love warm vanilla sugar. Maybe I will pick up a spray in this one. Maybe the cream to match. But it smells very good. We got a new brand here um, at Walmart, Pop Sugar, which Pop Sugar is like an online beauty kind of. It used to be popular back in the day with blogging, not so much now I feel like. Fun fact, they're actually the first network I signed with. <laughs> Networks used to be a thing on YouTube back in the day, and it was basically a big scam for them to get all your money. But <laughs> anyways, this is kind of cool that they have a collection at Walmart. So we have some bath flakes, lavender vanilla, bath oil beads. Oh my gosh, this brings me back. This is like early 2000s vibes. I feel like no one does those anymore. They like melt in the bath. We got shower steamers, magnesium, let's see, this is the relief sore muscles, that would be nice to have. So yeah, that's really cool that they have that collection. We already have some fun holiday scents as well. I stuck my body called G stuff there so I could film, but Native has a candy cane lotion. I haven't seen anyone feature this one yet. Oh, that's cool. So they started doing lotions last year with their holiday collection. I don't know if they did do the candy cane though. Maybe they did. I know they have the sugar cookie, but so far they have that for $10.97. And Hemp's also has their candy cane laying out too. And then the Scent Theory brand, which also reminds me a lot of Bath & Body Works, has a new scent, Cozy Comfort. This one is soft cashmere and mahogany. Uh, with notes of soft cashmere, fresh mahogany, and brisk musk. I didn't think it smelled like anything I've seen there before, but they do have that here. I do like their lotions. They're only like five bucks, so very inexpensive. I believe this Berries and Bubbly is also a new one. This one actually has sparkling citrus, raspberry puree, and sweet vanilla in the notes. I don't think this is a dupe for anything, but the berry is very, very strong in this one. It's super sweet. So this line has been at Walmart for a while. I don't know the brand, um, but there's something else that looks almost identical and basically it's like dupes for the Truly Beauty stuff. This is by Fruit Farm and they have this Smoothing Shave Butter Passion Fruit with Hyaluronic Acid. This is in Fruit Cake which sounds delish. They also have these like aftershave serums, so definitely copying Truly Beauty here. Strawberry. They have a matching Fruit Cake Shave Oil. There's the watermelons. This is the boob polish, so yeah, I think that's the same thing that Truly calls theirs, and then they have the Sweet Cheeks Mixed Berries for the booty. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of fun. It's totally new here. And yeah, I'm not sure if it's the same brand as this, but the sucky thing is everyone opens these and smells them and touches them, so it's kind of hard to get a brand new one. It kind of grosses me out a bit, but I don't know. It looks kind of fun. Apparently, they also sell good chemistry fragrances here now, too, which usually they're just at Target, so that's interesting. I don't know they might, if they're more expensive here. They're 26 They also have the Billie Eilish perfume here, which I think, I don't think I've seen that anywhere else yet either. Hey guys, we're back home from our little Halloween shopping adventures. I know I've posted a lot, I feel like, of Halloween videos lately. I don't know, I just, I get so excited. I also just did like a fun Disney Halloween vlog when I went to the Halloween party, so definitely check that out. But all I ended up picking up today um, also from Walmart was this cute boo sign. I just love that. So I had to have that and I also grabbed the Winter Vanilla Fragrance Mist since this did remind me of Warm Vanilla Sugar a bit. I thought it smelled really good. So I really just got a few things. I know people think that I'm just always shopping, always buying stuff, but to be honest, I just love window shopping and sharing the newness with you guys. I'm not out here buying the full collections and all that, and I really don't need a lot of decor, but I love looking at it, and I love seeing what's new, so that's why I do film a lot of shop with me type of videos, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, don't forget to check out Zuvi if you guys are looking for a new hair dryer to promote healthier hair. I mean, I feel like ours has stayed very straight, super smooth all day long. This is literally how it looks I didn't even brush it or anything I'll have that linked down below of course and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys